Hello everyone, welcome to the DevTales. I'm Alex and I'm Michael. And today we're gonna review Orange Pi 5 Plus. It's a single board computer, uh, some kind uh, similar for uh, Raspberry Pi, but from Orange Pi company. Uh, we ordered this uh, product from Aliexpress and it comes with an uh, enclosure, with plastic enclosure uh, and uh, with a power adapter. Let's uh, discuss it in more details. Yeah, I, I actually see it uh, for, for the first time uh, and uh, yeah, it look, uh, looks pretty interesting. Maybe we can go through specification. For example, what, uh, what, how much RAM is it? Kind of higher version with uh, 60 gigabytes of RAM. So currently top version comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM, but uh, time when we ordered it a few months ago, it was the highest version with 60 gigabytes RAM. So it's quite powerful. Not bad, not bad. And what about the CPU, GPU? Uh, yes, it have a rock chip, RK, 3588 uh, uh, processor unit uh, mm -hmm. so it's a system on a chip and uh, basically it's uh, quad core A76 uh, and A55 uh, uh, processors mm -hmm. with a 8 uh, nanometer design uh, there is also integrated uh, MAUI uh, 610 3D GPU uh, compatible with OpenGL, uh, OpenCell and Vulkan uh, protocols and also, which may be interesting for some uh, applications uh, of uh, artificial intelligence, it's also embeds NPU unit uh, which supports uh, up to FP16 mixing computer. This one is interesting, yeah. And uh, what about peripherals? Uh, what, uh, what outputs it has, inputs? Uh, uh, yes, let's discuss them. Uh, so now let's uh, go through all the peripherals that the uh, board has. Uh, actually, it would be quite hard to describe them all because uh, this board has very much number of peripherals. Okay, let's start from the first one. Uh, this is uh, USB Type-C and this Type-C is uh, providing uh, power. So it's 5 volts and 4 amperes. Um, Next one is uh, two Ethernet ports for 2.5 gigabits each. So it's quite powerful and allows some appliances uh, when uh, high uh, Ethernet transfer speed is required. Next are three HDMI ports. These two HDMI ports are output and uh, one port is HDMI input. So actually I don't even know for which appliances can be used HDMI input. If you know, you can ask write in comments. So regarding uh, image quality using these HDMI's, it support quality up to 8K. So it uh, yeah. can support even large displays. Yeah, and you can uh, kind of plug uh, at once uh, several of them, like two displays, because it has uh, two HDMI's out, correct? Uh, like yes. two displays yes. and each of 8K. Uh, what that's a question need to test because uh, maybe it uh, will not work uh, with two display 8K. Maybe only with but one. But for display. 4K, it supports two. Then uh, or it also again, work. good question. Uh, I tested it only with one uh, display. So at least one with 4K without any glitch, so it uh, works fine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, next, uh, two USB 2.0 ports for uh, connecting some external devices, for example, skateboard and mouse. Uh, next, from this side, it's regular uh, USB Type-C port 3.0. Uh, next one, uh, also USB 3.0, standard USB 3.0. Uh, and for uh, power input uh, to power up the board, uh, you will use which uh, which one USB? This was ah, for okay. power input, okay. and this was for data. Okay, uh, got it. But actually, when we connected it first time, uh, we mismatched this two, and uh, we already was afraid that it was burn out. But uh, it uh, there is some protection for this, so it's uh, quite good. 
So this one port, uh, it's uh, M2 port, small port, E-key port for uh, connecting plate for uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you can find uh, M2 chips for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, in the internet and to put it here to use some uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functionality. So, so the board doesn't have uh, itself uh, built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay. So from this side, these pins are uh, pin out, standard pin out for uh, some heads. So it's uh, compatible, full compatible with uh, Raspberry Pi heads. So as you know, probably there is very much uh, functionality can be available for expansion uh, of uh, Raspberry Pi and all these uh, uh, extenders called heads uh, can be used also on your uh, Orange Pi. A good feature actually. Uh, in the center as uh, you can see it's a processor main processing unit. Here we also applied uh, copper head sinks for uh, memory chips. It's uh, two RAM units for eight gigabytes in our case. So each... Uh, each eight gigabytes. Yes, yeah. yeah, so total 16. So but you can, your version can be four, eight, 16 or 35. So and uh, where is the input for uh, for power from uh, like uh, ad ad does it has like additional uh, power not USB C but uh, uh, maybe others? No, uh, no. It it's uh, actually a problem that it do doesn't has any other power than USB C. Quite. Uh, interesting not very convenient solution but it uh, doesn't support uh, this fast charge protocol mm -hmm. so when it uh, a charger uh, increases current for some higher load you need to provide static 5 volts and 4 amperes as usb type c it, it's not very simple to find such uh, a charging unit for uh, usb type c so better to buy it uh, together with uh, when you buy uh, Orange Pi from Aliexpress because there is high chance that you can will not be able to find it locally. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe let's review other side. Uh, yes, here is also okay. power button, mm -hmm. and here is uh, also interface, small interface for fun. So if you connect the fun using this interface, it will work only when your processor will heat up. I made a small mistake. So interface for uh, fun, not this uh, that we told, but uh, this one. This is a uh, microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, this is infrared receiver. Uh, quite interesting, actually. I even don't know that it has some infrared mm -hmm. receiver. Yeah. And uh, this one, which I told is fun, it's actually a speaker connector. So you can even connect a speaker. And this uh, small chip, which we thought uh, we don't know what for, maybe some NPU or some other, so uh, some... Need to check on that, yes. most likely. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, turn it other side. So on the other side, uh, here are also a few interfaces. This large is for LCD uh, uh, display connection. Mm -hmm. So this one is for... Uh, it's exposes PC, PCI 3.0 interface X4 for connecting your SSD, uh, so uh, M2 SSD, so as you see it quite uh, big, so compatible with standard M2 SSDs. Or maybe you can uh, try something other to connect uh, using this M2, not even also only SSD. Uh, here is uh, interface for connecting your memory card and uh, actually it provides uh, some very fast standard for uh, memory card. That's it for uh, peripherals, yes? Yes. So we did uh, kind of review of uh, specification and uh, peripherals of uh, Orange Pi. Uh, yes, so that's it for today. And uh, our next section will be in our next video and it will be quite interesting. We will test uh, uh, cooling solutions, different cooling solution for Orange Pi uh, and compare them. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe to our channel and don't miss our next video with this uh, testing. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.